What's happening, guys? This is Captain Ario with Bottom Fishing 24-7. And during this time of, you know, mid-March, late March into the 1st of April, we don't get to fish a lot because of the weather, March winds, etc. Um, so we're going to do some tackle videos, especially uh, how I fish my baits. We went over some slow pitch stuff earlier, um, and we're going to go over how to how, how to take your, your dead cut bait and turn it into something way better. All right, so normally all of us fish with, you know, a certain style hook. Most of you guys have a particular hook you like to use for bottom fishing. Personally, I don't want it to bend. And I don't want it to be too small unless I'm on a jig where I'm slow pitch jigging. It needs to be, you know, a smaller thin wire hook. I want something that's going to hold and I can put heat on it. So this is a 3X 6 salt Mustad. This is a 90, this one here is a 9174 black nickel. And uh, they come in 25 packs. And I think they got bigger packs than that. But this, this hook, as you can see, this is, this is somewhere between a live bait hook and a longer shank style hook with an offset ring eye for snelling. See that? It's got that offset ring. And this is a VMC. And I'll leave the number for this hook in the description. This is a really good hook. And um, again, these are not circle hooks, obviously. Um, anyways, the shank length may or may not matter to you. It does to me. But these are both 3X hooks. You would think this one would be a 4X by how it looks, but it's not. Okay, the other hook we use to turn our dead baits into deadly live baits, pretty much is what this is, what I'm about to show you. So is a jig head. You can use quarter ounce, half ounce, three quarter ounce, whatever you want to use. Um, you can use a jig head so you can offset the weight and stay on bottom if you wanted to bottom fish with this and jig it, you know, sort of like you would a bucktail maybe. Um, it works. So you could, you could use a jig head for this, you know, as well. Because when they see the deadly part of this is putting a hoochie skirt on it, obviously, is what we're, what we're looking at here. When they see this and there's smell involved, um, you're, you're going you're gonna, to gonna entice a strike. From snappers, groupers, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Bonitas, kingfish, um, blackfin, uh, uh, you, you name it. I mean, anything will hit these. And these are so underfished, especially on the bottom, because they're not... You know, I don't think they were originally designed for that, but we try a lot of stuff where we're at. We're in Northeast Florida, Southeast Georgia in green water. So let's talk about this hoochie for a second. It's a hoochie squid. And this one is a five inch. That's the ones I like because most of our bait is between three and five inches here in our area. So you kind of sort of match it to the, you know, to your area, but I kind of towed around these no matter where I'm at. Because, you know, bait fish are usually three to five inches long. So we want them to think that's what it is. Not only is it going to smell good, because there's going to be a, a bait on the hook, and I'll show you. Um, it looks good, too. So does color matter? I'm not, you know, you know, you guys probably know from other videos, I'm not big on colors. But we use the green you just saw. We use this pink and white. And then we also use, you know, straight white. And again, does it matter? I doubt it because we've caught fish on every single one of them. For some reason, the white and the green more. And you say, oh, that's, yeah, that's cool. But when, you, when I think back on it, again, like I've always said in all these videos where we, we talk about colors of baits, it's because we fish certain ones more than the others. We look around, everybody's got white ones tied on. It's like, what, what are we doing? And we think Kobe, we think green. Um, but then the guy over next to you, you know, Josh will catch one on, you know, on the white. So you just, I mean, then Kelly will catch one on the pink. It, you just don't, I can't really put, tell you that one color is better than the other. And I, and I won't. Um, yeah. Even with bass fishing with my dad growing up, he, that didn't even apply there either. Cause it, oh, a darker worm for darker color water, whatever. Because I watched him with white worms or white yellowish worms called a gator tail back in those days gator tail bait catch 
you know, and that's, that is a very light colored jig. Some of the, or light colored worm catch huge bass in dark colored stained water. So I don't know about the color thing, man. Don't, don't know. Squid hoochies look like bait fish. That we know. So that's proven. All right. So how we rig it. Okay. We'll just start out and we'll put this jig to the side. This is probably my favorite one. It's a longer shank hook. And um, this is, by the way, this is, all this is, is this is an O'Shaughnessy hook. It's a, and it's not a live bait hook. It's just a ringed offset hook. Um, and it's good for snelling because the ring's offset to the, you know, to the back of the hook. And I'll show you how to do a short snail and uh, rig this up. Now, the, the short snail that I use, or mini snail, um, you can't have the leader tied to anything. So I'll show you how to tie that. So I'll pull off some 30 pound leader here. If I can get hold of it. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna pull off a little, about a six foot section here. Just trim it. Okay, now I'll show you that mini snail. Um, and it, it this can be done on a straight eye hook as well, doesn't matter, but this hook is really meant for snail. And you see these in the store and people buy them not really knowing that that reverse ringed eye right there is meant for snailing the hook. Okay, so we're going to mini snail this one on. So come through the back of the hook where it leans back on the eye and then just lay just lay that down right there and pinch it. Just, you, I've done nothing but run the, run the line through the hook, okay? Hold it there and pinch it. And then I'm going to make five or six nice tight wraps around the shank. That's two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And then you, let's see if you can see. See it wound around the hook? Okay, now I'm going to pinch that off with my finger. Come to the end of the leader with your other hand. It's way over here. Here it comes, here it comes. Okay, here's the tag in. All I'm going to do is run that back through the back of the hook again. Okay, that's all I'm doing. And watch what this does. That's beautiful. And that's what it creates. And you just cut off the tag here, obviously. You can trim it down pretty tight, too. That's not ever coming out. And that's pulling on the shank of the hook instead of on the eye of the hook. The eye just takes the line through it. The actual wraps are here. And this doesn't cut your this doesn't cut your leader either. So it's a really good little knot, but you can't be tied to anything to tie to mini snail. Okay, so anyways, back to the point of the video. Okay, so now let's say we're gonna put it, we're gonna put a green hoochie on, right? First thing you gotta do is take your hoochie, hit the top, and you wanna cut just the bar off of them. Just the nip end. So your opening on this thing is maybe, may, maybe an eighth opening, not even. Okay? So since it's got to be on the hook like this, right? We want it like that. So you take the end of the leader, the tag end, you'll lay them, you'll, you'll open, them, open them up like this, open them all the way up. And then just stick you. I know this leader small, y'all. I know this is like, damn, can't see nothing. I know I can't, this is what you have to tie on it though. So put, so you slide the leader in there, run it through the opening. You just, you just clipped off and then let it drop down onto the hook like this. Okay. I know this is simplistic, but it really works. Okay. A lot of guys that, you know, guys, I learned this from in the commercial industry, you know, 30 years ago, they were doing this and uh, you just don't see it very common these days is this. Now I'm going to show you. You got to kind of be patient. Don't cut your hole too big or this won't work. Okay, see what I've done here? We pulled it down just past the eye of the hook and it is snug on the shaft of that hook because I made, I cut that hole so small when I, when I, when I cut off the barb of this, uh, of this hoochie skirt. Okay, now this thing is ready for a piece of cut bait. And um, that's really all there is to it. Now with the jig again, if you use the jig for this, you'll have you'll have lead in the head of this thing, and it's got room for it. 
because it's, you know, it's air headed, obviously. So you can't put a jig in that. And again, some of you are like, oh, I've done that before. A lot, a lot of people have, but there's so many people that don't. And they're so upset when they don't catch live bait. Well, if you're bottom fishing, this, this, this is fine. You just, you just need some cut bait. That's all you need. And what you really want, you want a strip of bait, depending on how big a fish you're fishing for. You know, a bonita strip would be wonderful if you could catch a bonita right quick. Or if you already have one, just the skin is all you need. And you want it about, you know, half the length of that, of that uh, squid, of the squid hoochie. You want it about half the length of that, you know, hanging off the hook. Obviously, hook fully exposed, just like you see it. In whatever way you have to get it to the bottom, whether you put a Carolina rig above this and put a swivel on it to keep it from coming down onto the on this, a lot of people will fish it knocker style and with a one ounce or two ounce and let the weight fall right down onto the eye of the hook. You can do that, um, but I, I I like to jig mine around a little bit, and uh, I don't feel like I'm getting a great action when that with that with the weight sliding up and down on here on knocker style rig. So I'm usually going to use a jig head and at 50 feet, this half ounce jig, it takes a long time to get down. So a lot of times, again, we'll have to use that six or eight foot of leader and put a one or two ounce weight added to it. Keep it way away from it. So you can still make action with this thing. So, but I, I'm going to try and do it without any added weight in just, in just a jig if I have to. And if I can, even in that, like I see, even that 50, 60 foot of water, you just got the way up current because when it hits, if you give it the right, you, you know, you figure out the right toss, say you're on your trolling motor, or you're on anchor or you're drifting the way up current and let it come back. By the time it gets vertical, where well, that word's used a lot lately, but by the time it gets vertical, you're not going to have time to worry about what, what, what it's doing because it's probably going to get hit on the way down. Number one, number two, if it makes it to the bottom, it'll get hit then. So if it gets off over here at 30, 45 degrees, just keep keep checking bottom with it. Keep dropping to the bottom. Keep dropping to the bottom until you can anymore. Then reel it up and then jig it up. Jig it up slow in increments. You know, pull the rod up three foot. As you reel, reel up. Do it again and again and then just bring it on in and start over. But I doubt you'll make it that far without your rod bending over if you're on the right spot. You know, if you're on some, if you're on where fish are on structure, rocks, whatever, a ship, whatever it is. But these things work great, so never discount this. And then you can turn right around, and you control this also. You will need a jig head to do that, though, inside this, this hoochie. Can't use the straight hook rig to troll with. Because you got to have that weight in the head just to keep them down enough. You control it about a knot. So it's deadly, too, just by the way. So everybody knows. That's what these things were originally for, was trolling. So... A lot of uses for the old hoochie. Yeah. If y'all got any questions, just leave it in the comments. I know this is a pretty simple video, but make use of these things, man. They are cheap. You can buy like 50 of them for 20 bucks, 15 bucks, you know. Like I said, I don't think the color matters much. Get you some white and green. That's what, that's all you need. Get you some six or seven alt hooks. Make your Carolina rig style like this. Or, again, the jig is, is, is my favorite because I can turn right around and troll this. So half inch, I mean, I'm sorry, half a uh, half ounce or three quarter ounce jig head is, is what you want. Um, one ounce is too big um, for, for what you're trying to accomplish here. You don't want this thing being weighted out. So and again, that's it guys. Hope you got something out of it. Y'all take care and fish on.